Back when I was a young child of 24, I was watching some Mimi compilations, funny troll face stuff, all that goodness. I really liked the one about the girl and the chickens and stuff. Ah, but anyways, that's all in the past, Doc. I wanted to talk to you about something that's been bothering me ever since then. I feel like you know as well that I haven't been putting everything on the table during these therapy sessions. So here we go. In those meme compilations, this guy would show up sometimes. I can't remember how he looked much anymore, but his caring eyes and his feelings have never left me. He was pushed so much, he didn't know what to do, I can tell. I connected with him in Seoul. He was pushed so far, Doc. He told that kid that he didn't care, he broke his elbow. I know that those words are gonna haunt him forever. I don't know where he is now, but I know he remembers. I was just a little kid, Doc. I knew this guy was on these vicious words around at other people. He had lost his way, and I have too. In the three years since I saw that video, I haven't had a good night's sleep. I think about him every night. What kind of life did he have to endure in order to lash out at another person like that? Sometimes I wish I could know where he is now. Just to go talk to him and get some closure. Why didn't he care that that guy broke his elbow? I know that video hurts me, Doc, but I can't stop watching it. I just can't stop myself from hurting. I feel like I deserve it. Just like that guy deserved to break his elbow. Anyway, Doc, thanks for listening. I feel a little bit better. I'm gonna go now. By the way, Doc, yeah, I'm really sorry, but I pissed on your couch a little bit.